Okay, I'm now recording. It's February 2nd, 2022, at about 1 p.m., a little after 1 p.m. And let's go in and change our settings here because this is all wrong for this purpose. Hostile creatures up, player sounds, voice speech down, weather down, done, done. Single player RPM challenge 2022. So I did a little bit of work after the live stream yesterday. Uh, I went and checked out the way I was doing my stuff before my randomizers and I came up with a slightly different approach. Hello. Uh, so this is this is my machine. So here I have a dispenser with a bunch of cat spawn eggs in it. And over here um, I have a ethyl hopper clock with just 20 items in it. Um, and that gives me periodic uh, release of a cat roughly every minute. Don't want that. I'm actually going to adjust this a little before we get going. The clock is turned off via this switch lever. And then it goes into my randomizer, which is here. I've got a dropper hopper combo. And in the dropper, I've got nine items, eight of which stack, one of which does not. So when the netherite shovel get is the one that's chosen, because every time this pulses, one of these items at random is chosen and, and dropped into the hopper here. That then triggers this with a level, depending on which item it is. Most of these, because it'll go from, this gets full signal when the hopper is filled with stuff, Another right shovel counts as higher than the uh, than the others because it doesn't stack. So five shovels inside the hopper would be full output on here. So with that, I have an item frame here with another shovel as a little dial, and it that that lets me with this setting. Whoops, that creates an output off of this comparator when the shovel goes in but not any of the other things. Um, hang on, my air conditioning just turned on for some reason. So when a shovel gets selected and goes in here, not the air conditioner, the heater. Okay, that's okay for now. Um, <clears throat> then it'll it triggers this dispenser and one of the cats will get dispensed. Same thing over here, only on this one, it's all creepers. And I did some testing here to sort of figure out a period timing. Um, 10 items gave me a period of about every seven seconds, I think. And then figuring it'll take on average nine of those to actually get one trigger of the dispenser. So these are the kitty, these are the creepers. And what I want to do is I want to empty out my inventory because, yeah. And then I want a bunch of creepers. And I think 10, oh, so 10, okay. I think that will work for the creepers. Then I want the kitties to be uh, released less frequently. So, and I don't want as many cats. I'm thinking I want maybe 20 total. The balance between creepers and cats is kind of important. And okay, so then what I will do is when I'm ready to go here, I'm gonna mute my microphone because I don't want my voice over this. This is recording. And then I'll start the creepers and then I'll start the cats. And then notice I threw down some snow here. I was doing some tests with snow golems. I was kind of hoping that they would trigger the sound. They do not. They are silent as they glide around and they leave behind snow. And where the snow is, the amethyst stops making noise. So 
this is a way of randomizing things a little bit. I just threw down some in a pattern. How many I have here? About uh, 12. Um, <clears throat> I just kind of spaced them out so that as the creepers move around, when they come across the snow, they will momentarily stop making noise. I don't know if this pattern will be interesting or not, but we'll find out. So, ready to start take one. Got creepers here. Oh, cats here. Creepers over here. Okay. So I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to start it. Then I'm going to go into the middle. I'm just going to kind of float above and kind of spin around a little bit. I'm going to be trying to do this for about an hour. Um, this probably would be super boring, but you're welcome to hang around and listen. And yeah. So let me... Go mute my microphone. We get started. All right. See you in a bit.
Okay, that was take one. I think that went pretty well, pretty much to plan. I did, I got a little impatient and released the last few cats and the last few creepers. Uh, the last few cats manually, I added this and then I created a, I released a couple of the creepers really, but I wonder if I do this, Can I get a redstone lamp? Can I can I get an indicator if the dispenser is empty by doing this? Whoops, not that. This. And if I have just one spawn egg, let's grab some creeper spawn eggs here. If I put just one in it lights up and if i do that it's empty good i will do that on both sides and for take two i will take advantage of this it'll give me an indication when the cats are done and i will put fewer creepers in i don't think we needed i don't think the last <clears throat> 10 or 15 or so creepers really added much so We'll do that. Okay. Well, that was good. That was a good first one. Uh, I think we will call that an end. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope that was at least somewhat interesting. Um, it will not. The final album won't sound exactly like that. I'm going to do a lot of processing to it, and I should put up a sign or something over here. This is this is twenty. So this was going to be. I think this was the creepers, or this was the cats. This was the creepers, because I believe there's only ten over here. Oh, I can turn these off. Yeah, I think that's the case, and I got a little thrown off by. I had trouble keeping track of which was where. Yeah. Uh, and I got a little thrown off by the entity count. The item frames are an entity, so that's why there were more entities than I had expected. Cool. Well, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. And I may be back on later with a little bit of Minecraft play. Uh, we'll see. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Theron, and I will see you later. Bye.